in this video before we actually dive into configuring you know the procedure anim component with movement sway rotation lag and all those other settings i want to kind of give an overview on how the actual component is set up and meant to work so really it's not tied down to being used for just a firearm so for example if i head over to the optic here you can see the optic even has this component and the firearm will use it in certain ways so certain ones of these settings actually get used primarily it's actually the aiming settings but basically this is meant for you can really add procedural animation to anything that you hold by adding this component so you don't need to add it to just a firearm it can be added to say a flashlight or a hatchet you know whatever you really want and that will now have procedural animation you can control all the curves the sway rotation like like everything through it not just a firearm so the reason that there's two of them in this case one for the firearm and one for the optic is the optic uses the aiming settings specifically things like the aiming distance the default aiming speed the, how much the camera is supposed to zoom and all that kind of stuff so that just kind of what allows it to uh be a little bit unique without having to have its own dedicated component because the firearm uses those same settings as well so if you do not have an optic equipped you will use the firearms aiming settings if you equip the hollow sight then you use the optics aim settings but everything else is still being used as the firearm so all of this stuff here is still being used from the firearm only the aiming settings are being used from the optic when the optic is equipped so that's a general uh, overview on how this kind of works i just want to make it very short very simple before we move forward 